Here we are looking at the piece that's going to be um, the first part of the mock-up of the under tray. It'll go underneath. What you see here is I've made some cutouts where the wheels um, will have to go up underneath. Um, I marked the center line, which you can see there, um, all the way up to the edge. And I'm going to line it up with the marked center lines on the front end here um, and tape it in place then use a sharpie to trace my pattern all around the edge um, to get what the curvature is going to be of this air dam um, so that I can figure out the dimensions that I need to have for my under tray piece. Now we have the most important part done, um, greasy paw prints here included. We've taped it up in the front kind of give us a reference point. Um, I held it down while my trusty assistant uh, Brezhnev and worked on tracing out the uh, line and getting kind of a rough curvature so now we at least have something to go off of. Um, I haven't quite determined exactly how I'm going to terminate the line at the back but that's okay. Um, that's the next piece I have to think about and decide because um, I want to make sure that there's enough clearance that I'm not going to hit on the tire but I also want to make sure that I'm deflecting air out and around the tire because, believe it or not, as the tire is swirling and shriveling, um, the air is turbulent around it. Um, and the more air you can deflect out and around cars, um, tires in the front, the better the air profile going through the air is going to be, the more aerodynamic the car is going to be. This is why a lot of the newer cars have almost a very flat front, um, straight up and down, in an air dam and also why a lot of the um, heavy trucks now, um, the full-size trucks, um, semi, stuff like that, have basically a flat air dam in front going almost all the way down to the very ground. Here we are at the uh, more of the nickel and diamond at workbench, also known as the floor. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm laying out a material called um, coroplast, it's the same material that you see used for like election signs and things like that. Um, I have my cardboard template laid out with all the dimensions that I measure um, going all the way back to the rear mounting point um, that I want for um, this front um, air dam support. And even though this core plast is not really um, stiff, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be um, using an adhesive um, and layering on uh, sheets of aluminum to tie it together structurally. Um, so in this case, for the Miata, because it's so small, I'm able to use uh, two, two foot by four foot um, coroplast panels, um, which you can get at local hardware stores, undoubtedly. Um, I've cut out all of the patterns, I'm piecing it together, then I'm going to reinforce it with aluminum and rivets on all sides, um, so that I basically have one solid continuous piece um, it'll be easier in this case to layer the aluminum uh, sheet on both sides after I've already done the shape cut because then all I'm going to have to do is use a pair of tin snips to cut my aluminum sheet to the exact same dimensions um, and then I can, I can wrap it under on edges or whatever I need to do. Um, it will just make it an awful lot easier than trying to cut a similar material that's already like um, core plastic with two sheets of aluminum on the top and on the bottom. Um, that material is often referred to as aluminum, um, alumalite, or something like that. And it's a good material for this kind of application. It's very lightweight but very strong um, and very stiff for um, as stiff as an application like this. On one side of the aluminum flash, I'm not ready to accept the adhesive. Uh, I'm going to use the Super 77 adhesive from 3M because that will um, hopefully stick to both surfaces pretty well. And you cut out the aluminum to match whatever the curves are. Um, you apply the adhesive to both sides, wait for it to be tacky and sticky. Um, I think about 15 minutes under most conditions then you apply the aluminum to the surface you're going to be sticking it to and add some weights. Um, some trusty old textbooks will work. 
and then you wait for it to cure.